Oh, well, my name's Fox Knight. Today, and I'm at Fox. Um, I like He Man. I haven't seen the new uh, uh, he Masters of the Universe yet. Um, waiting to watch it with my father, who's all who's a big fan of He Man, and kind of got me into it. Like I originally saw, like I saw this He Man, the 2001 or three He Man. Um, way uh, in back in 2003, my father used to watch the original He Man when it first aired. So. Um, I like, but He Man is something that's grown on me a lot. Like again, from the two thousand three one, to uh, reading or listening to the vi uh, video or videos of like the direct one of the directors of like the He Man vision or something like that of Mattel, and like he talked about like the collector's edition that he made, how like the extra lore he added to it, and also different stuff about like the original toys like these. Um, well, this is not the original. These are the or this is like the origins, which is a remake of the original. But you know, similar ideas and stuff. Um, I love this. I I know there's a, this is the reboot, the actual reboot, because people like say, ah, the Master of the Universe is not a reboot, uh, or that's a reboot. It's like it, at least from what I'm, I haven't finished it yet. I haven't seen it yet. But what I'm gonna guess is it's not. It's not a reboot. It's just um. It's supposed to be a continuation and the ending of the original series. But, in either case, um, and also I could kind of tell that, be, eh, kind of, whatever, it's beside the point. Um, I'm interested to see how this is. Main thing I want to see out of this is He-Man, his, his uh, sword. I also like She-Ra, F5, and everyone's concerned, the, the, the remake. It's, it's not the greatest cartoon, but it is a, it is a fun cartoon. Catra's the best written character, along with, I think, Hordak. Other than that, like, the other characters, I really didn't like their designs so that. Catra, I loved her design. I loved her story. I loved all that stuff. It's a similar idea of, at least to me, it's kind of my similar problem I had with Naruto where I was just like, eh, Naruto's all right. But Sasuke, though, he's a bad... <laughs> like, Sasuke, though, like, I want to follow the ninja samurai, uh, like, western that he's that he's in. I, Naruto's always like, eh, okay. So he's like, eh, okay, whatever. I want to see how this is. I want to see, like, so far, I like kind of this world that it kind of looks like. Actually, is this the... Eternia Tower or something like that. I remember. Anyways, I want to see Castle Grayskull. That's my main thing I want to see out of this, as well as obviously He Man so that, which we'll see. But I want to see Castle Grayskull because I have this one. I have the 2003 Castle Grayskull. I want to see the this one because I'm probably that's another toy that I'm probably gonna get to so I can add them on a shelf somewhere. Anyways, let's begin now. With that sword, Grayskull will soon be ours. The animation doesn't look that bad. Ooh, I really like her. <laughs> I like her characters. I love the white hair. I love the brown skin. I love it. I love the uh, shorts and all that stuff. Because it... Go check out Owl Wolf Town. The little kind of animated series I made. It's not really animated. It's more like an animatic, basically. But I love... Uh, I always do like the skin tight shirt. Like uh, the uh, the shorts. Because, hey, I wear shorts. And uh, I like her design. It, wait, is she the sorceress? Bring the sword to the champion. What champion? Whoa, boy. Oh, boy, Prince Adam. Jesus, those eyes. Those are some giant, terrifying eyes. By the power of Grayskull, I have the power? Look here, Hiccup. <laughs> Okay, first off, one, he is, like, I, first off, one, I'm going to be pausing a lot. Two, uh, I don't know, like, he kind of looks like a Disney Infinities character. Oh, shit. Nope. He kind of looks like a Disney Infinities character, because, like, when you have, I don't have any of my Disney Infinities with me. Like, you have the figure of Spider-Man where he's thin and, you know, stuff like that, but then you have, like, the Disney Infinity character where they, for some reason, make him, like, buff. It's like, why? Uh, he, that's what he kind of reminds me of. Uh, I'm probably, I'm sure I'm gonna have to get used to it, but I also do like how, like, it's the H and the M, but it also forms the sword. That's actually really cool. Like, that, that, uh, this design I'm gonna have to really get used to. Also, lying on this belt. But what I wanted to see, specifically, also, this looks very 80s cartoon, too, which I would say. That's Castle Grayskull? 
That it, 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 so far as I've seen, that looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool, and also I like how it it looks like they're kind of focusing more on the sci-fi element of all of this instead of the magical side, which I think it'd be kind of is gonna be kind of cool if if that is the case. What did it feel like? You need a deeper voice, dude. You need a deeper voice. Like, oh yes, but uh, you need a deeper voice, dude. Like, like that voice is good for Prince Adam for He Man. You need someone deep, like. The best way I can describe it is Yami Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, you need... You, well, you have Dan Green doing Yugi's voice very much higher pitch. Like, hey, Taya. And then you have da then you have the deep Dan Green voice <laughs> for Yami Yugi. Vakura! Yeah. What did it feel like? You turned into a big ol' He-Man. Were you still you on the inside, but you look like him on the outside? Or was he the same on the outside as he was on the inside, and you were somewhere else entirely? Ow! I'm gonna guess this. A lot of questions. First one. The master's nemesis have arrived. The power of Grayskull. Skeletor. Oh hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! Skeletor looks badass. So I'm guessing that's his human form, probably, because it looks. Master's nemesis. Wait, He Man or the Hero's Nemesis? The Master's Nemesis have arrived. The power of Grayskull is a lie. Who's there? Why, Adam? Don't you recognize your Uncle Keldor? Oh shit! So they're going with Keldor. I, I don't remember if Keldor was. I wonder if they're going off of the toys, but I can't remember if Keldor is specifically ever mentioned other than in a comic book of the original, of the. Re of the actual reboot the other reboot so but Keldor is if Keldor is supposed to be uh he-man uh, not he-man's uh Skeletor's original name um, remember quickly you recognize your uncle Keldor this is our fight too god Prince Adam's the eyes the master of technology master of ne wait is that is that man at arms is that who that's supposed to be is that supposed to be man at arms Dude. Oh wait, you just saw oh wait, I just saw Castle Grayskull again. This is our fight too. Yeah, you see it right there. Again, I'm gonna be pausing. I like I'm, I'm liking the sci-fi angle a lot. I'm liking how they're doing a lot more sci-fi angle than you obviously have the magic mixed in with it. Um sci fantasy is one of my favorite things, that's why I really love Star Wars. Uh also it looks like <laughs> they're like they're like, oh yeah, portal here. That way you know you don't see on the inside when the ship flies out and doesn't make any sense how the hell it fits in there. I'm at least the master of technology. Master of magic. So she's the sorceress? Of the wild. Oh shit, wait, he talks? <laughs> I like his design. Uh, that's cool. I like the armor too. Like, uh, damn it, I don't have any of my stuff. <laughs> Battle Cat is another thing I, I is another one of my favorite uh, characters, along with He-Man, obviously, but yeah. For the wild. Master of Demolition. Apologies, this is all just very exciting. Oh, Orko! That's cool! Yeah, they're, they're really, le they're way more leaning where the original He-Man leaned, and even the 2003 reboot, leaned way more into fantasy with technology elements, is way more leaning to sci-fi with fantasy elements. Not bad. Just very exciting! Like a story of old! Yeah, okay. Oh, she is the... Oh, so... So she is the sorceress. Cause that because that looks like the birds it looks like the bird uh beak and everything. So she's the sorceress. That's cool. I actually I love the sorceress. It's right here. <laughs> uh his armor, I think I think he is supposed to be man at arms. I think that is man at arms. I don't know what she is. Oh, hell yeah! Look at Battle Cat! Look at how badass he is! Hell yeah! By the power of Grayskull! You need a better voice, dude. You need a better voice. Deepen your voice. Something. Get someone older to voice. I don't know how old the actual voice actor is. Maybe he is 20, 30, something. I don't know. But they need someone with a deeper voice. Dan Green! Get Dan Green in here! Just imagine the power of Grayskull! Like you need, you need, you need a deep voice. You need a deep, booming voice. I'm not saying I have that, but 
You need, by the power of Grayskull, I have the power! Like, you need, you need a deep voice to do it. I probably clipped my mic. Okay, I like nin- I like- I like ninja stance sorcerers here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. God, look at him! Look how badass he looks! I don't know who you're supposed to be. Is that Glimmer? Are you crossing over from Shira? I'm assuming that's Man at Arms, and then obviously Sorceress. Oh, is that Tila? Is that supposed to be Tila? Is that who that is? I don't know who the hell that is, or who that's supposed to be. Honestly, that being Glimmer makes way more sense with the glowing pink energy. Too much pink energy. Uh... Ooh, I don't know why. Say what you will about a rap. I think sometimes it can work really well. Uh, I love the wings. I love the wings. I always love angel wings. Uh, hell yeah. God, look at Battle He looks ferocious. I want a, I want a toy. I want their toys. Saving Eternia is up to us. Hell yeah. My dark masters and Rick. Oh. Uh, what is it? It's up to us. Rise. So, uh, that's, uh, Lockjaw? Is that his name? I can't remember. He looks cool. Uh, Evil Lynn looks pretty badass. I actually say Beast, is his name Beastman? I can't remember. Again, I, 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 I watched the 2001 like, way back when. I kind of more fell into it more recently. But even then, I still love this damn thing. Uh, Beastman's original design, I kind of look at it, I'm like, eh, it looks all right, like the original one. I like the, like, how, how different these all are. Like, if you watch, at least, I know from the trailers, at least, and, like, if you watch the original He-Man, too, I guess, a lot of characters have similar body types, similar clothing and stuff like that, and it's because, you know, that's how the toys are set up. Like, they're basically the same toy, but with, like, different heads, different colored armor, skin, all that stuff. I, I think that, like, these toys, they, like, how, if they're how they're gonna, if how they want to make them, they're gonna have to really uh, push like, like the the like the thing like they're very stylized each character. So I, I I'm really interested in how the toys are gonna be. Ah, oh, that's so cool. But I'm not gonna lie. If you could have gotten Skeletor to vo if you could have gotten uh, Skeletor to get voiced by Mark Hamill again, that would have been amazing. Again, haven't watched the Masters of the Universe one. I've just seen the trailers and immediately just hearing Mark Hamill's voice coming out of Skeletor, I'm like, that feels right. To know oneself, truly a of the universe. Hell yeah! A master of the what now? Hell yeah! Behind this gate lies oh wait, hold on. Yeah, here's a here's a full shot of it. Man, I'm definitely gonna get that playset. It looks like if Skeletor and Aku, for some reason, it, it, not Aku. Well, it looks like if the if Castle Grayskull and Aku for some reason like merged together to make this. What are these? I like it. It looks cool. I like how like it looks like a fortress. And mystical with like the magic, like cosmic behind it. But yeah. Behind this gate lies great power. Also, another thing that I really like, whether you love it or hate it, whether you love it or hate it, um, this gate they kind of look like Overwatch characters, which I really do like Overwatch characters' designs for the most part. Um, there's certain characters I'm like, eh, but they look very much like blizzard style animation of it where it's like kind of disney but not really it's like it's still its own like art style-esque it looks very much this very looks more overwatch which honestly is probably one of the inspirations for this style of going more technology to fantasy but i don't know why there was that pause but yeah like i i love these designs has great power we must approach with caution <laughs> adam wait up wait up and they're dead. <laughs> All right. Lies great power. All right, hold on. Let's. Uh, I want to see. Although one thing I will say, at least from looking at this, 
it, I feel like it's probably gonna have one issue I'm probably gonna have it just as going off the trailers alone, so it might change. One issue I'm probably gonna have with this over one issue I had with this, which I also had with the Shira, is I'm pretty sure He Man himself and even Voltron too. He Man himself will probably not be on screen that that much. Like yeah, we have Prince Adam, but you know, you want to see the big muscle dude with a giant sword. <laughs> Also, where does Prince Adam hold the sword on him? Is my question. Damn it. Uh, hold on. God, I love that trailer. Uh, He Man Masters of the Universe. When? Actually, wait. When is this supposed to come out? When is this supposed to come out? Hold on. Wait. When is this supposed to come out? Because like, this these people like to drop shit. Uh, like, like, oh yeah, here it is, and it's gonna like come out tomorrow or something. Uh, September 16th. Okay, next month. Okay, so we got like an entire... Okay. Um... He-Man, Masters of the Universe. Uh... Is it... Is, is it... Uh, is it is, wait. Official trailer. Is that the same? It looks like the same. So let's go ahead and... Okay, so I want to see the, some of the commercials. Or the commercials, the comments. Uh, so they're touching up the fact that Keldor Skeletor is technically Adam's uncle. Oh, okay. Uh, Trap Jaw, that was named Evelyn, look unnerving. Meh. Trap Jaw makes sense. Evelyn, yeah, I think she's supposed to also kind of look evil, obviously, but whatever. Uh, looks and feels like Troll Hunters more than He Man. I haven't seen Troll Hunters. All I can say is, going off of design of characters, um, Troll Hunters. And here's the thing: I, I might actually like Troll Hunters. Then again, I also heard the ending was shit, so I don't know. Um, Troll Hunters is design wise. Looking at it, I didn't really feel an appeal to it. And that's the thing: like something like let's say Kipo, or even like the Owl House. Um, design at least for me design is very important for the characters obviously um that's why like the owl house like when i saw the first episode just randomly when it was on tv and i just like i was encapsulated by the design of the characters and then the characters everything of those characters also helped a lot adventure time took me way longer to get into because i didn't really know about the design i had to learn about the story first before i got into it this honestly design wise alone i am interested in this version of he-man so uh Troll Hunters, not really. Uh, looks more entertaining than the Kevin Smith show. Back. Uh, so since the Shira reboot went for a magical girl vibe, it looks like they're going for a henshin hero vibe. What? No. What? How? Okay, hold on. No, because I. Hen, no. Is henshin heroes usually set in a sci fi setting? I say they're more going a more Star Wars route. As well as the Eternians being more technology oriented. Technically speaking, they could still tie this to She-Ra because we do know that the first ones were highly advanced technological race, so there might still be a connection there. For all we know, this is magic slash tech, but I'm curious where this goes. Magic tech. Uh, I wasn't raised watching He-Man, so I don't really know any of these characters. Eh. Yeah, uh, hopefully it will be a cool opening for people, considering that this show is aimed for eight-year-old son, for my eight-year-old son. Even... I would give this show a chance so far as it looks good. I Yeah, okay, I'm liking that. Series Scratch, they're continuing what came before and changing stuff. Uh, uh, from Scratch rather than continuing what came before and changing stuff. Mm. I feel like that's a jab at the Kevin Smith one, even though I haven't seen it yet, but, you know. Mm. Uh, this looks more like 2000s He-Man reboot than the actual early 2000s. What? Moving towards a heavy sci-fi with some fantasy elements rather than sword and sorcery with sci-fi elements. I think I know what he's talking about. I think he's talking about the new adventures of He-Man. Uh, sci-fi elements that the 80s and 2002 show had. Personally, I don't like the direction, but this is aimed 10 and under crowd. Hopefully, eh, still, honestly, looks good. Has definite Skylanders vibe. Yeah, I'll say that's true. Hopefully, the kids will like it. I mean, it seems more age-appropriate them than the 2018 She-Ra no, I'm not. I'm not agreeing with that in in the slightest. 
I'm, I'm never going to doubt with a slide is because I will say this now the She-Ra designs look very much like they could have been just dolls even the even the reboot ones like they could have been just way more dolls they seemed way more oriented towards teens to young younger crowd I'm, I'm not agreeing with that in the slightest what are the the two what do you mean by unlike She-Ra <laughs> Yeah, I, I, yeah. Like seriously, like if you talk about the gay elements, what? <laughs> like, 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 yeah, like, no. I will say again, this. I will. I want to see that. I gotta see that. I gotta see the Crescent Earths. Earth. Uh, no, yeah, Shira. I would say definitely is aimed towards ten and under. Uh, nothing against if you like that show. Again, just for me, the best character was Catra, and because she had the darkest story. And felt more attuned with everything. If you don't understand what I mean, go watch my review on Centaur World, where I kind of go way more into detail explaining kind of where Shira messed up, where Centaur World actually does way better at. Um, basically, if there's a war going on, maybe as one of the lead members of that, you know, the kingdom being attacked, you shouldn't go on a spa day, <laughs> side the, or go on a pr princess prom. But that's beside the point. Um, as someone who grew up with the filmations He-Man and love every incarnation of Mo 2 da, 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 and Revelations. Okay. I'm pretty excited for this. I'm liking that. I love the style and animation as well as the character designs. Yeah, I'm loving the character designs. Uh, given that the last Master of the Universe did, the bar is low. Oh, shut the hell up. Um, they didn't make a Teen Titans Go clone. Good. Uh, which they kind of did for, uh, what do you call it? Thundercats. Uh, I would like a better Thundercats done. A kind of chance of meatballs, Thundercats roar. Yep. Even I, I need to see that show too because it might be good. Wait, what after it just concluded He-Man? Are we getting another one almost immediately? Y yes. Anyways, uh, you experience a big, heroically bombastic voice of He-Man. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, that's my biggest gripe with this. My biggest biggest gripe with this is that he-man needs a deeper voice he needs i have the power you know you need you need the deep i have the power you know you need that deep voice I have the power! yeah that's it and also raising your arms i don't know just something's wrong here but anyway Anyways, tell me what you have in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you want your videos that I've done, uh, links are on my face. Subscribe to another one. Please check out my videos. Hopefully enjoy this, and we will. See, like, it looks very 80s. I will say that right there. But, yeah. If anything, this actually gives me some Sonic Set AM vibes a little bit with the technology base. More setting and stuff like that. But, yeah. But tell me what you have in the below. Thanks for watching. Your videos I've done. Links are on my face. Subscribe to another one. Check your videos, and we will. See you later. I was looking for a round for my Shira sword, but I may have packed it already.